Hello Tooligans, welcome back to the channel. Um, quick look today, I'm going to be going over some of the set of super rods I've just received. Um, first, I'd like to thank and say hello to all my new subscribers. I'd like to say hello and thanks to all my existing subscribers. Keep your comments coming guys, much appreciated. Um, up to 900, and, I think it's 908 subscribers now, which is great. If I can get to the 1000 by the end of this year, I will be very happy. Um, so let's get into it these are the rods i've been using for the past couple of years they did start off as two sets of rods but now there's just one they are knackered and in all fairness they're very very outdated i've just got one there which doesn't even go with the set so what i thought i'd go out and buy some super rods Guess something a bit nicer. So here they are. So what I've done, this is a CRS K12, 12 meter set from Super Rod. Go on to Instagram, give them a follow on Instagram, go on to YouTube as well, they've got their own channel, um, which gives you a lot of advice and help um, into getting the right rods for you. Little accessory box in there. I'll bring you in closer and we'll go through all the accessories later. So you get this tough rod tube to keep them all in and you get, let me just separate them, five reds, making a bit of a hash of this, five red rods, four yellow rods, la la la. Black rod, which is really super stiff. Didn't want to say that, but I have to. Translucent one, I'll call it. Very flexible, you can tie that in a knot. And then you've got one which is um, luminescent, I think. Put it up against the light, then you can see it in the dark. So there are two rods you get with it. And then you've got your yellow and your red ones. Yellow ones being the most flexible of the rods. Red ones being slightly more stiffer. Obviously this one, like I explained, you could probably tie a knot in it. That one is what I would be um, trying to force through. I know it's not very good to force it through, but if you put one of the ends on, just to give it that bit more rigidity of getting through whatever you're getting through. And then like I say, this one, good day glow version. You get the accessories with it as well. What I'll do, come in a bit closer and we'll have a little look at the accessories. Okay, so there you go. We got some of the attachments out to have a little look at. Just pop two of the rods out to use an example. <coughs> so with this set, you obviously get the um, cable hook. So if you're hanging something and you need to get towards your cable, hook a cable, pull that back to you. You've got the mini cable ring or the cable eye. So if you want to strip back the cable, um, attach onto that and use that attachment. You've got the LED attachment, which is really going to be helpful. So as you attach it to your rod, it just switches the LED on. Really nice beam on that. So you imagine if you're up in a void and you need to um, be very directional where you're going, say if you're going through a tighter hole you will find where you need to go easily enough. Then you've got your gender changer. Yep, I'm sure that is a genuine name for it. So if you go male to male, and you needed to fit, say, that on there, you could quite easily 
screw that on there and then that to the attachment and then you have basically changed over a male to male end to fit really nice um, pieces of kit one thing I will say a lot of thought has gone into these accessories they're not just little gimmicky things they have really worked with um, the tradespeople to get an idea for what um, people require what they need on the job so you've got your dome bullet come back to that in a minute you have got your flat bullet this guys is when you're going fishing through say plasterboard or through any false walls and you get any debris or material in here this is just going to block up the hole to keep it clean because if you go through a lot of my rods I've been using I haven't done that and you've got all crap and debris caked in these um, and that is a really good idea that gives you the longevity of your rod so like if you're paying 70 80 quid on rods you don't want to bugger them up within the first couple of days of using them got another adapter i believe yeah then you've got your magnets these are really powerful magnets on here guys um i will say and you've got your chain so if you were hanging something um say if you're pushing through a corner of a wall you want to come out on the other side you could push this through fish on the other side and there you go holds it on a really good firm grip and then that'll aid you to pulling it through in one then and that's the magnet attachments just take this off then guys you've also got these so you've got your end here which is slightly stiffer than some of the others so you would put on this uh let's have a little look see your bullet attachment should we say then as you hit the wall that'll start giving you your bend around whichever way you're going you've got this one with um memory to it so if you were going um, down a long cavity or a void and you just wanted to put a bit of a bend in it ready for when you get to the end you could just rotate it or twist it around to whichever direction you need it to go that will hold the bend so that's um, another good piece of kit and this one is just your um, more flexible than the white one so this one you you just start going along the wall and it would just carry on in the direction you need it to then coming along to the ones that i really like in particular because we all done it we use miles and miles of tape to attach a bit of cable on the end of the rods these i'm gonna really enjoy using just pop the sleeve over your cable that gives you a real good firm grasp of the cable so personally i think you're going to break the cable before you broke um, or before this slipped out which is really good um, this is the thicker version and this is your thinner um, like data cable that sort of um, size gauge cable and i also put picked up um, the glider um, i was reading about this one i thought while i was getting the rods i may as well pick up this as well so pick this up um, and this obviously as you're going along bounces up along if you're going on a straight run and there's say something in the way you could just bounce it over you're not going to keep banging into that obstruction um, you could put your dome on the end you could put your light on the end you could pretty much do as you please with it so per flexi on the end 
see if we've got the take the dome off this pop that on the end and then you're good to go you've got your rigidity of this keeping you on track and then this is bouncing you over any um, obstruction if you're laying it on a, on a run so like I said guys a lot of thought has really gone into this which I think is really nice um, it's not just one of them accessory sets you'd get with the run of the mill stuff they, they really a lot of thoughts gone into that um, and I think this will be another time saver so all together for just under 100 quid you've got a full set of rods all your accessories time versus sorry the time you're going to save versus cost um far outweighs far outweighs it so there you go guys just a quick look through accessories and the rods um i will be using these tomorrow i've got some cables to run so i will be revisiting them in a couple of weeks and we'll have a little look see how we're faring with them